Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a piece I did that I named Paisley. But now when I look at the details, I see so many fantastical creatures. This is done on a 12 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas. And I am doing a base coat of Rust-Oleum Metallic Effects in the Deep Chocolate Brown Metallic. I've layered four small paper cups, little bathroom size cups, using uh, four colors. I'm using a gold, a silver, a turquoise that I added some metallic to, and the dark chocolate brown metallic. What I'd planned to do were little, uh, were the four flip and lip cups. And then I was going to do some great big smears with the titanium white and Floetrol. But I got to the point where I really loved it the way it was and couldn't bring myself to do the great big smears. And that happens even with the best of plans. Um, it turned out really beautifully. So I did put silicone in two colors, two drips in two colors, and it really did have a, a wild reaction. The other thing I noticed was that the silver pretty much disappeared and laid under the other paints. And it was the one of the two colors that had the silicone in it. So cells did rise up from the silver that was under the other paint colors. So 
two of the paints that I used in this painting, the yellow gold and the turquoise, were both Liquitex heavy body tube paints that I purchased over a year ago when Hobby Lobby decided they weren't going to carry the Liquitex tube paints anymore. And I remember taking two trips across the border to New York State and hitting two Hobby Lobbies and loading up with tubes and tubes of this paint. So I found, especially the gold, very difficult to blend. Uh, it was very lumpy, it was not smooth. I added Floetrol, I added water, and I mixed it, I mixed and it was lumpy. And from my experience, I knew that if I let that paint sit, it would come together and be smooth and easy to use. And usually, you know, when that happens, you could let it sit a half an hour and the paint will improve. Well, it took uh, three days for the gold to become unlumpy and beautiful and smooth and silky. Uh, the blue, it only took about an hour and both paints were very usable. So if you ever have a problem mixing, uh, especially a heavy body and maybe a paint that you've had a bit long, if it's lumpy, just let it sit. And if you're patient, you'll be able to use it. It turned out to be a really pretty gold. And uh, I'm glad I let it sit. From here, it's tilting and schmearing. Um, I really love the cells that I got in this. The colors worked wonderfully together. So I take the palette knife and I do schmears through the circular cells to create something that looks a little bit more like a plant or leaves and it is really quite effective. I'm loving how the blue and the gold work together and made some pretty shades of gray and green as well.
And here's all the pretty little bits. I really love the detail in this piece. Uh, I had planned to do some great big smears over top of the colors, but the patterns were so pretty, I thought I would just leave it as a beautiful flip cup pour uh, with smears. It really did remind me of the patterns that you would see in Paisley fabric. Um, the movement and the shapes, it just, it was reminiscent of some beautiful Paisley scarves that I used to have. As I look at it now, I see a lot of little creatures and birds throughout. There's a, a little elephant, there's several small birds, there's fish, dolphins. It's amazing what you can see when you stop and look. So thanks again for coming along on this one. Uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. I don't know about you, but I, I just love the way the surface of the wet paint looks when you're tilting the canvas. It's so smooth, it's so silken. I don't know, there's just something about the chemistry of paint that fascinates me and keeps me painting every day. If you wish to reach me to purchase a painting or to book a private one-on-one -on -one virtual lesson, uh, my email address will be in the description box. The class usually runs an hour and a half to two hours. We work on paint consistency, paint choices, and complete two paintings during the class. It's really quite a lot of fun. So if you wish to book one, you can email me. It will get you going in the right direction on several techniques. So thanks again. And uh, I really just thank you very much for all your support and kind words. Take care. Be safe. Bye.